Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris Thompson with Chris Thompson Photography. Um, I'm here to talk about a new product that just came out from Paul Buff. Uh, something I've been super excited about and kind of waiting for for a while now. I sent in kind of what I wanted in a remote a while ago and why I wasn't happy with the Cyber Commander and things that I I wanted differently and an, an alternative to the Cyber Commander. So um, what they announced uh, fairly recently was this CyberSense Basically, it's a remote control for your Einstein lights, your Alien B lights, anything that's using the CyberSync transceiver system, um, which are these little guys, or some of the other systems are plug in that are a little bit bigger. Um, I like the Einstein system because these are 30 bucks and um, super small, um, super affordable, you know. So, what's really cool about this, this system it, it, it specifically is that, you know, it, Say you uh, put your light up. How many? I don't know how many times I put my light up, and I forgot to turn it on. It's like, dang it! I need. I don't need the modeling, or I need the modeling back on. You know, going back and forth using their ba battery pack. I don't run the the. Uh, I don't run the modeling all the time. So, um, constantly turning it on and off, and then I've put lights up ten feet in the air, and like, okay, I gotta lower it again to turn it on, or turn the modeling off, or change some setting on it. Um, so what's really cool is I've paired this. I didn't look at the manual or anything. I just turned it on. Okay, I'm gonna figure this thing out. And it's pretty easy to use, um, you know, just through, you know, trial, trial and error. It took me about two minutes to figure it out and pair it with my light. I've only done it with one so far, but I assume the other ones will go quickly. So what's really cool, I plug this thing in, you know. Um, I paired this, I just push a button up here to turn it on and then this lights off, I double tap, and my light turns right on like that. So it turns on, um, and right now it's, I've got the audio beep so you can hear that it's on. I'm gonna push the test button, that gives you, you know, you can test it here, um, which is really cool. It's got a lanyard, little hook down here, so you wanna hook a lanyard, hang it around your neck, or put a keychain on it, you can do that. Um, that's something, that's how I see how I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use their, um, you know, their transmitter too, a little tiny one that's about the size of this, and um, use this to change lights. I've had so many headshot sessions that don't go as smoothly because I'm constantly moving lights and changing lights um, just to get different looks and things like that, and this is gonna speed that up. Um, you know, I still have to move lights, but at least changing power, I don't have to lower it and, and do all of that. I can just position it and, and then go from here. Um, so you can test it from there, um, change the power up and down, you know, just by sliding your thumb or your finger up and down on these little sliders. You can do four lights, you know, four little sliders of so four lights. Um, you can hear it audibly beep and then push the test button. See that I've lowered the power output. It's a really simple system, super quick to use. It tells me in the middle here that I'm on flash. I can go back to modeling light. So now I'm on modeling control and right now it's at set to max. And you get the same presets you get on the light, so you can do um, your max off uh, proportion to the flash, and then also independent control of the flash. So you push that, now I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna push it back on. Now I'm on track with the modeling, which is that proportionate. And then adjustment uh, manually from the modeling light, or from the flash, so I can boost it up. <laughs> and there's, you know, one tenth of a second delay or a, you know third of a second nothing too crazy um just to change output but it gives you your stop uh changes here right now or and i'll put it to minus five or minus four nine right now minus five now and let's go to four minus four so it's really just super easy to use um i'm sure happy with it it's about the size of a you know standard smartphone um to give you a proportion. My hands are a little bit, I guess they're a little bit bigger, but it's about the size of a smartphone. Um, I really like this control. It's really easy to set up. You can put brightness on this, on this display. It's kind of a, uh, a blue, like a sky blue, blue Jay. Um, you can set the frequency, the display, you can set the brightness or like if you want this to sleep, I have it set to 15 seconds, which is actually a little bit too quick. Um, 30 seconds is probably best. And then once it goes to sleep, it um, blanks out the screen. 
but you can still, you know, use the light and then to turn it back on, all you have to do is just push the button, one of these buttons and it activates the screen and you change your power up and down. So that's been really helpful. The test button's really helpful. Um, you know, this is gonna be super awesome to just be able to tap, turn the light off, tap, turn the light back on, you know, um, I'm super excited to use this and, you know, see how it makes my shoots go a lot more efficiency or efficiently. So thank you, Paul Buff. And for anybody that's looking at this thing, I think right now it's only 80 bucks. I think that's a steal for what it gives you compared to the Cyber Commander, um, which is, I believe, 180. And if somebody's looking for something simple, they're overwhelmed by a Cyber Commander. This is a great option. It's super simple. It does your flash and modeling light controls as well as turning your lights on and off. And that's, that's what I've been waiting for. So thanks again. Leave your comments below. Um, and thank you.